Isaiah Kabibi. Isaiah Kabibi. Isaiah Kabibi. Welcome, my loves. Welcome to GBC TV. If you're new to the channel, definitely don't forget to like and subscribe. Isaiah Kabibi. <laughs> Saudi Arabia World Cup preparation. Isaiah Kabibi. Saudi Arabia World Cup preparation. Was it smart or was it just a fluke by the big, big, big telecom companies to make a big profit or capitalize on the there's a vast majority of money circulating around and it's a chance for your nations or your company to get the biggest promotion of its lifetime to increase revenues or sell. So sending eight players to La Liga to gain first team football or European experience stating by the Saudi group that you know these players will come back better than ever with European experience. Most notably the two biggest names that went is Adal Saudi Marines which is Villarreal and you know, Mohamed, Mohamed, <laughs> I'm starting to think that Saudi Arabia, you know, the people love football, everybody bought, mm. so coming up next on GBC TV, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, definitely hit that bell button to get notified, and oh yeah, don't forget to leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below, cup preparation could have been one of the smartest, one of the smartest tactic that a nation uses going into the biggest competition of world football, the beautiful game. If they would have just did it for the love of the game. Saudi Arabia sent eight players out on loan and they sent a player to Manchester United to gain first team's training, which I never seen this guy train with the team, never seen him pictured with the team ever since made that move. But going back to the story, Saudi Arabia sent eight players to La Liga to gain first team experience. They sent them out on loan. The federation agreed to pay any expenses that has to do with those Saudi Arabian players. Most notably, Ardo Sari and Fahad Al Mualad. Ardo Sari playing for Yellow Soul Marines, which is Villarreal. Fahad Al Mualad playing for Levante. Fahad Al Mualad, the biggest of them all. The Saudi Arabian Messi, definitely seen highlights of this guy. It seems that he could be a top player. He definitely deserved to be playing in Europe. Going to that move, when it first was announced, I was okay. Damn, Saudi Arabia got a plan. They're going to come out hard. They send the name players to gain European experience. They could face competition and bring back, you know, a great World Cup souvenir to the people of pride. You know, showing dedication, hard work, and, and tactics, showing them that they smart, that they, you know, come together and made it happen. But this is where the football game becomes a dirty game. This move got to be for the people. But then, looking deep into the conversation and into the articles, into the story, you already know GBC TV, good, bad company. You know, we take the good with the bad. We investigate it all. It came to my mind, a big warning sign. has to wear the corporation name on their jersey when Fahad Mualad went out on loan, which is a big marketing scheme. It was a business move which used soccer pawns, well, players as pawns, to get that move to go through. Fahad Mualad, arguably the biggest Saudi Arabian footballer, he made history debuting for Levante for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We should not count that. 10 minutes. After sitting on the sideline for three months, where the goal was for you to get on the first team sheet and to play, to gain experience, not just training. A camp where he brought in almost all the Saudi Arabian players and trained them. 14 days it was all cardio. Fahad al Mualad was absent. They got a game later on facing Greece. Let's see if they could get some results. Saudi Arabia, the last four results haven't been really convincing. Although they pre they, the most recent result, they won 2-0. This is the last the result. This is the result of the last three matches: 4-1, 1-1, 4-0. The main players that they sent out on loan to gain experience to come back and actually help the team haven't been on the pitch. None of these players played 90 minutes for the club that they went out on loan for. None of these players played 90 minutes. This is where the beautiful game becomes dirty. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. It is money over football. Because that corporation got a big exposure in front of all these fans that the team is playing, all these jerseys that they're selling this year. You know, the corporation name is in it forever. 
you know, that exposure alone is going to bring back the money that they invested into sending these eight players. If it wasn't a smart move that they see they would have recuperated that money from making that move, the Saudis would have not made that move. This could have been one of the smartest moves ever made by a nation. But greed, but greed had to take it over. Greed had to take it over. But I guess it is what it is. We got to take the good with the bad. Saudi Arabia definitely got to improve in front of goal. They definitely need a main target, man. And for Al Mualad, Al Dossari, and all them boys will need to get on their A game to actually beat Russia, which is a very tough task. A very tough task. That move could have been spectacular. That move could be immaculate. That move could have been great. <laughs> you know, this is GBC TV. I love you all. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it.